Volkswagen T2 Das After a short drive, we have uh, checked in at Sonderkobbel Strand Camping. We are directly on the beach. I will show you later. So here we have the gaming amenities, washing machines, kitchen, and uh, of course shuffle pack. I like I like this game. So, Corinda wants to go bathing. Checking the temperature. Oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. How warm is it? 18? Oh, oh more. It's more. Oh. Uh, it's cold out there. <laughs> Really good here. So not much wind, even no wind. <laughs> but some sea grass along, along the east, co um, east sea is normal. I hate rotten sea wheat, sea grass. <laughs> This is the first time that I've uh, put up the top 2 uh, rain and sun cover but I'm really not happy about it because there are no uh, holes in here in the side where I can uh, fix it on the car. Um, I have these rubber uh, things here with a rubber with a plastic bowl a ball um, so I thought that on each um, black thing here there's a hole where I can mount it to the railing on the roof. But here there are no holes and you can't put the rope through it through this here. So I don't know what it's for. This it's, it's missing here. I don't want it to be uh, like this way, I want it to be uh, shorter, uh, 90 degrees. Um, I'm not really happy. You can uh, make it higher or lower with the uh, poles here. Hmm. So. That's also a little bit uh, bad what we've done here because the rain can still go on the door. Uh, so I should have mounted it a little bit for the back. Hmm. Okay, this is the first try. It's 
okay for now, but uh, I think uh, more rain is, will come. So we need, to, we need to refix it again. So we have fixed the problem with the roof gap here. Mounted it a little bit further back. So this is closed. And now the rain is coming back. And we can sit dry here. I had made a wrong uh, description. It's a Tatonka tarp number four, not number two. So, and here is the display of the tarp. But it only has corner things. Hmm. Strange. It's uh, 285 by 400 centimeters. But it says it has 14 holes. But there are no 14 holes. Yeah, that's the problem. It's, they are missing. Four corners, right? And 14 holes should be there. But they are not there. Okay, it was not really a, a hole like in the corner. But we have found it here in this grey thing. There's a small uh, gap, so this is the hole that they meant. So, oh, it's really not hard. It's really hard to see because when you buy it, it's like this. And then, okay. So tomorrow we can mount it again. <laughs> No? No. We are enjoying the silence and the ocean waves. Oh, beautiful here. Over there, you can see the German coastline. The wind has changed direction and uh, it's got even stronger. It has more waves now. And uh, it was raining again and uh, the strong wind uh, um, yeah, blew our tarp away. So we have to pack it up and get inside the car. And now. We are playing Skippo and eating chocolate and chips. <laughs> Hello, good morning. This is the second day on this beautiful camping place. And today is sunny weather. So we are enjoying the East Sea. Looks really beautiful now. We are making breakfast. There's another camper coming today with an old car. Looks like a mess, like always, because there's not much space in it. With two people, there's a little bit less space. We are on our way to the lighthouse of the small island. It's over there. But I think it's too far away for us to walk on the beach because it's very rocky here. As you can see, it's a pretty natural uh, beach uh, with a lot of sea grass. Uh, yeah, it's uh, all for the East Sea. It's not the nice sandy beaches as you like to see, but uh, it's uh, what you get in Denmark's coast. And uh, on German coast, it's a little more, a bit more sandy beaches. Uh, but it's still nice here, really calm area here.
They found a love nest. This is Shuffle Park match. Corinna versus Jens. <laughs> I play one handed, one handed because I'm a pro. Oh. <laughs> Now in Nordborg, in the small uh, half island uh, next to Sunderberg, to the right, and then we are taking a hike through the small village here. Not much going on because it's Sunday. The old water tower here. Seems like the end of the village. Swimming bridge. We have found the lake. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you see the jellyfish.
It's like the year zero wind here. So very calm East Sea. Lots of rotten sea grass here. That's normal. Very nice. Hello, sheepy. Nedu? Hello, black sheep. <laughs> no? No black sheep? We are staying at the private property for, of a young couple uh, here in Denmark and they have bought this land here and so they rent a place over there for camper rents to stay for the night. It is uh, about 15 euros for one night but they don't have uh, any shower or toilet amenities uh, so you have to be on your own. Now we are exploring the area here. We want to go to the beach. Sunset time now. Looks beautiful. It's really uh, calm here. Only bird noises. Sometimes you hear a car, but uh, it is really peaceful here. Pure nature. We are now at the rocky shore um, of this private camping place. It's about 300 meters away from the from the place where you stay. Perfect Danish holiday weather. But this is the first time that it's really raining. <laughs> They're cats and dogs now. Uh, <clears throat> no, it's a, it's the second time. The, there was one uh, rain shower, thunderstorm in the night. Uh, but the rest of it was very beautiful weather. It's uh, sun and cloudy overcast but uh, that's really good. So we are back to Flensburg now and then uh, find a place in Germany somewhere to stay. 
We are uh, mostly buying food at Rima 1000. That's a uh, quite good uh, supermarket here. Really cheaper than uh, Netto or Lidl, in my uh, opinion. And uh, so uh, most of the food here in uh, Den Denmark is uh, a little bit more pricey than uh, in Germany. Um, yes, a little, about 30% more. Uh, in my opinion. We have found a place for the night at the private property. Uh, they were giving the place for free, I think. Um, so you can uh, park here for one night. And there's also a <laughs> house cat here that comes and wants to cuddle with you. So we've parked Scooby over there. No one else is here. Yeah, you are here. Okay. I've cuddled you before, but she's very hairy. Um, yeah, nice place. Only a small uh, street over there. Very calm area here. So Scooby has done well so far. Uh, no problems at all. Uh, fuel average is about 12 liters, 12.1, maybe sometimes more, but uh, that was a good uh, average. I'm happy about it. So, um, tomorrow uh, we will be driving to Corinna's parents in uh, Malente. Um, yes, and that's about maybe 50 kilometers from here. We have uh, leftover food from uh, yesterday. It's really big ground here where you can park. I think it's good for five campers, I think. Uh, okay, see you later. Here we have a Honda Mimo automatic lawnmower. It's driving automatic, automatically around the garden here. There's a charging uh, station over to the carport over there. I've never seen one in action. But it only has front sensors. When it hits the front, then it will stop and turn. But there are no side sensors, so it was really close to our car and drive, uh, drove by it. Hmm. We have cuddled the cat a lot, but it's still enjoying the sun and once more cuddling. now at the river Schlei in uh, East Holstein and we have to wait at the, at the bridge at the, uh, for a ship to go by. Folding bridge. Oh, we're going on the railroad tracks for construction here. That looks good. Nice bridge. An old 
Volkswagen. Volkswagen Bus. Mit der T1. Looks like a T1. Na, aber dann der Buff. It's even slower than us. <lacht> Now he's beating. in the city of Lübeck with uh, Corinna's parents and we are exploring the city. Wow, that's a Wahnsinn. That sieht ja cool aus. Da kommt einer und weiß ab. 13,5 Stunden. Hallo! We have stayed uh, two days at uh, Corinna's parents and now we are driving back to Bremen, direction Bremen. So because we are staying the night again in Neuwulmsdorf, there was a quiet place at the cemetery. Uh, yes, and now we are at Lidl to uh, get back our cash for the bottles. Uh, yes, and it's pretty hot. Uh, today it is 25 to 30 degrees. And it's pretty hot and Scooby here. I uh, have to cool this uh, navigation device down here uh, because it's sometimes it will re re reboot. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's too hot, I don't know. So there is a fan that I use. Ah, nice fresh wind. Scooby is sweating too. All right, Scooby. Uh, crossed eyes, too hot. Okay. This is my new and improved uh, hair cooling system. Yeah, for the uh, desert. You know, I'm testing here. Yeah. It's really good. Hamburg, Harbor, St. Pauli. Uh, we're going over the Kölbra Brücke.
right view from the bridge. Scooby is crawling up the bridge at 60 km per hour. Container ships in there. Oh. Oh, oh. Many thousands of containers. Finally, after long hours of driving, we have arrived in Neuwingsdorf. Same place again. Light is still on, yes, forgotten. So, but now it's so hot that I take a shower oh, on the spot. Mr. Wet T-shirt, you know. Oh. Ooh. oh yes. Ah, oh. so refreshing. Ah. Oh. better. Still 29 degrees. Whew. See you later. It's a really cool place that we found here. It's the birds cheeping, beautiful sunset and a light breeze to cool us down. I'm enjoying my dinner on my outside folding table. And later on, we have some sweets I will show you. Look at that. Corinna's parents were so generous to give us uh, fresh strawberries and sugar strawberries and sweet cherries. That's all for dinner for tonight. Wow. Very cool. I love it. Oh man. Whew.